Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be getting ready and we're going to be doing this full face of my Sephora goodies. So almost everything that I picked up from the sale we are putting to the test. I did have two face palettes, the Hourglass and the Pillow Talk. So because I only have one face, we only tried one of them today. And I did have also a couple of shadows that I wanted to try, but I ended up just trying one single shadow. So anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get right into the makeup. But before we do, sorry about those little screams in the background. Those are my doggies. Uh, be sure to subscribe. It is super easy. It is 100% free and it does help my channel a lot. Just hit this little red subscribe button and be sure to hit the bell so you get notified every time that I post. Let's start with the makeup. I don't have a full face, but most of the products will kind of complete a full face. I'll just add whatever I'm missing. I'm not gonna show those products. I just wanna do this video talking about the products that I got from the Sephora sale. So the first product is going to be the Merit Great Skin. So while this is considered a skincare product, you can also use it as a kind of like more glowy base, which is what I'm gonna be using it as today. So it's called the Great Skin Instant Glow Serum. So I'm not gonna use any, any primer. Okay, so this is very liquidy. I just, I, I can't show you because it's very liquidy. It's straight up a serum. So I'm just going to apply it everywhere. I think I used way too much. But um, yeah, I'm just blending this with my fingers. I honestly have no clue how to use this product as this is the first time I'm using it. It said, oops, it's like slipping everywhere. I literally got it all over my hand. So it says to be as a skincare, but also used as a base for your makeup. So that's what we're gonna be doing. I think this is going to help the foundation just go on a little bit more smoother and nicer. And I always personally love more glowy natural skin. My skin feels and looks super glowy. This feels very, very nice on the skin. I do have more normal to dry skin so anything that gives me extra moisturizing and extra glow i'm here for it so so far this looks very promising i will be using it also mostly as skincare uh that's what i'm thinking after applying it right now but i uh, will see but look at that that's just like super glowy and bouncy oh it looks beautiful so i don't know we'll see we'll see how it goes whenever i continue to use it so now for my foundation, I got the Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. I got mine in the shade or number eight. It is a pretty decent match for my skin. So I am going to be adding this or blending this with my Love Foundation or Love Foundation Brush from It Cosmetics. And let's go ahead and do a couple of pumps. Let's do the back of my hand, it'll be easier. Okay, that's like one and a little bit of a pump because it wouldn't come out. So let's see if that's enough. Apparently, I've heard that you can use or you should use just a little bit of this product. It goes a long way. So I'm just adding it all over. Honestly, it has been a long time since I used foundation. I've been using the Tower 28 uh, Skin Tint, which is beautiful. But like an actual foundation foundation, it's been a while. So let's go ahead and blend. I have a fresh, clean brush, which is always great. That's going on super smooth. The thing is, I don't know if it's going to be because of the foundation or the Merit underneath, the Merit Glow product, because that just went so easily. So I think next time that I try this foundation, I'm gonna go ahead and do it without adding this, uh, this base product, the Glow Skin, uh, because it's probably helping the foundation a lot. But wow, that went, that blended in like two seconds, like it's done, super pretty. And you can see all that glow peeking through from the, I keep calling it great skin, yeah. The great skin serum. The is looking very, very beautiful. And look at that glow, I am obsessed. So let's move on with concealer. The way I usually apply my concealer is going to be, I've been really loving the Tarte under eye corrector, but for the same reasons that I don't wanna kind of like alter the product that I'm gonna be testing for the first time. I'm going to leave it for today. I'm not gonna be using it. I use the corrector so I can minimize the veins underneath my eyes and on the top since I don't have any coloring there. It's just white. 
So that I've found helps a lot and I really like how it looks. But today we're just gonna stick to the concealer. This is the Beautiful Skin by Charlotte Tilbury. I've got mine in the shade 7 medium which actually looks a little bit lighter than I probably use. So if it's too light, I'll probably grab another concealer, but I just want to do like a first impressions try on without adding any other product. Yeah, that is a little light and I do need extra coverage here. This is like the regular places where I always use concealer. I think maybe like even a full shade darker would have been better. I can always go back in store and exchange it. But um, let's go ahead and blend. Blending really nicely. But again, I don't know if it's the actual product or the Great Skin product by Merit. So we'll have to see how these products look or work without that base. That blended really beautifully. And now let's see here around my eyes. Okay, so that might not be too light for me. I thought it was going to be. Maybe, what do you think? I think it works pretty good. I'll keep testing it, and if I find that it's a little lighter for my liking, probably just even a half, like a half color shade darker would be sufficient. Let's move on with setting with a finishing powder, and we're gonna be using the beautiful Elephant Palette by Hourglass. And it does come with two setting powders, or like finishing powders. This two right here. I think I'm gonna go for soft light, which is this one right here in the middle. It's a kind of like more, I guess, yellowy. Uh, I'll use that one. I love these palettes. I bought them four years, like four years in a row. It's just my favorite, and I do use, use these palettes a lot. So they're always a great investment, and I say investment because they are pretty pricey, but to me, they're definitely worth it. I wasn't sure if I wanted to use this palette or this palette because clearly I only have one face, but I think I'm gonna skip the Pillow Talk palette and I'm gonna be doing a standalone video talking about this one, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and use entirely the Hourglass palette. So let's move on with the bronzer which is going to be just one bronzer and the shade is Lustrous Bronze Light. So usually I like to use a more contouring bronzer, but since right now we are, we didn't get any, or I didn't get any new bronzer, like standalone one, I think this will be sufficient. I switched to a smaller stipple brush so I could get a more defined uh, jawline right here but I will still grab the bigger one to just bronze the face entirely. I do always like to define my cheeks just a tiny bit more. Let's move on with highlighter. This one is the Metallic Strobe Powder in Beaming Strobe Light. So it's gonna be the one in the very corner. It seems a little bit dark on the palette, but we'll see how it looks once it's blended. Ooh, that's very pretty. You see that? Super pretty. So here's the before, it's still very glowy from the Merit Great Skin. And now let's add, ooh, that is very, very beaming. These strobing highlighters from Hourglass are so pretty, even though they're like very intense, as you can see, they're still very, uh, very natural at the same time. I always like to go first with my highlighter and then with, and then with my blush, because I feel like that gives a more glowing from within kind of look, which is my favorite. And now for blush, we have two of them, a very intense lighter pink and a more mauve darker pink. I think I'm gonna go for the mauve one. I don't know, let's try this one first. I am going to go ahead and smile and apply this on the apple on my cheeks. How pretty is that? Oh my goodness. And you can see all that glow coming from underneath so that's that's why I always apply and highly recommend you do that. If you don't do your highlighter like that, go ahead and do those steps. It just seems much more natural. And in my opinion, it looks so much prettier. We're gonna change plans. I was gonna be doing my eyes with the Pillow Talk Dreams, but I think I'm gonna skip it for today because I do have another eyes to mesmerize uh, little eyeshadow that I wanted to try. And I think I'm gonna leave this one to do a standalone video alongside with the original Pillow Talk Quad. 
So we're not gonna use her today, which makes me a little sad because I was very excited to try this little quad. But um, I'll probably be filming tomorrow and it'll be up pretty soon. But look at how pretty that is. But let's concentrate in the just the eyes to mesmerize. This I was not purchased during the Sephora sale. I did pick up. I did pick up these ones whenever they were released, maybe like a month or so ago. So I am very intrigued to try this because this is a beautiful shade. This is called Sunlit Glow. And it is a stunning duochrome with kind of like rose gold or like gold and pink. It's just beautiful. So the way I like to blend or apply the shadows is going to be blending with my fingers, but I am going to grab an extra brush just in case. So this is very beautiful. Let's go ahead and swatch it because I haven't even swatched it. So I just added a little bit on the back of my hand or my finger and that's what it looks like. It looks like it's gonna be kind of subtle, which I love. Looks very pretty. So let's go ahead and add a little extra just here on my finger and do, let me put you closer. Okay, I think that's probably better. Okay, let's go ahead and try this. Ooh, that's very pretty. Such a pretty eyeshadow, I love it. I love this Eyes to Mesmerize. I think at this point I have like eight of them, I would have to count, but they are just great shadows to use by themselves, like I'm gonna do today, or to use with either other Eyes to Mesmerize or mix them with a regular eyeshadow. They're just honestly the best cream shadows. And as you can tell, it's like super easy to blend. I do like to grab my brush just to be more precise on the crease, but honestly, you don't need it. You could just use your fingers and you'll be more than good to go. So here we are done with only the eyeshadow. And again, this is Sunlit Glow. Very pretty shadow. I think it's a more subtle look of wearing a duochrome. So if you are a little intimidated by duochrome shadows, which honestly, I am a little bit, I feel like this is the perfect way to wearing it. So now I think I'm going to go ahead and line my eyes real quick. I'm not gonna show you the whole how I do it, but I'm gonna be using the Pillow Talk by also Charlotte Tilbury. If you are looking for a new eyeliner, highly recommend these ones. They are very, very good quality. I'm gonna go ahead and line my eyes and then we'll move on with mascara, which I do have a new mascara to try. I finished up my brows off camera, so now let's move on with the mascara, which I have a brand new one here. This one is by Tarte, the Tartlet Tubing Mascara. It is going to be the very first tubing mascara I tried. I've never tried any mascara like this, so I am curious to see how this is gonna work and if I'm gonna like it. So we'll see. I did not pick up this during the sale. By the way, I got it at Sephora, but before the sale. So let's go ahead and use my little trusty hourglass mirror. The wand is very spiky. I don't know if that has anything to do with the fact that it's a tubing mascara. Probably not, that's like the formula. Okay, so here is one eye with the mascara, one eye without, and my eye looks so tiny and closed. Wow, that's crazy, look at that. <laughs> This is a good mascara, I'm loving it. Like forgetting about the formula, like the tubing situation that kind of like just falls off very easily. It's just beautiful, I like it. It's making my eyes look very awake and open. I love that more fluttery look on mascara. So I'm gonna go ahead and complete this and then I'll be right back. I am back and I just went on and added my earrings to look a little more presentable. The only thing I'm missing is gonna be lipstick. So makeup is gonna be very subtle today. I was not expecting it to be so subtle just because this eyeshadow was really subdued, which I really like. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I was very impressed with this shadow, especially because duochromes can be a little scary. At least on my eyes, I feel like I thread very carefully if I'm gonna be using a duochrome eyeshadow but yet this one just looks very natural, very classy, very beautiful. I really love it. Sunlit Glow, highly recommend. I believe it's still in stock. I don't think this has been out of stock on the website, so you can still find it. 
And now for lips. I do have a couple of lipsticks because I was thinking this is gonna be a little too light. I've got Very Victoria, which is the newest that I just tried. I do have a little cart on Sephora going on. Today is Friday, no, Saturday where I'm filming this. So I might place another order on Monday. If I do, I'll let you know and I'll probably film about it, like a video with those products. But uh, let's go ahead and try Very Victoria, which is the Matte Revolution formula from Charlotte Tilbury. Guys, this is a beautiful lipstick, Very Victoria. I am so upset that I never got it sooner. I feel like in the past years, I've grown, grown very fond of more neutral nude lipsticks and this is definitely a winner in my eyes. I think it looks stunning. Would I have gone with this lipstick, with this makeup, if I wasn't filming this video? Probably not. I think a bright red or even a more vampy red would look very stunning with this makeup. It is very, very simple, very light, which is definitely my kind of makeup. But whenever I go for these eyes that are more on the simpler side, I like to pair them with a very bold lip. But regardless, I think it's very stunning. This would be a perfect everyday makeup, a going to the office or to school kind of makeup. It's just beautiful. There's a ton of noise on my window, outside my window. The only other thing that I forgot to mention, I did add on my inner corner this uh, the strobe highlighter from the Hourglass palette. That was just like our last minute thing. I'm gonna add a little bit extra just because, you know, why not? More highlight, the better. But yeah, you guys, thank you so much for watching. That's gonna be everything. I think I'm going to be, well, I'm going to continue to use these products. Base is just, Stunning, you guys. Stunning. Look at that glow. I mean, between this product and this highlighter, that glow on the cheeks is insane. Very, very beautiful. I am loving, honestly, I love the products that I, that I tried today performed even better than I thought they would, which is saying a lot. Very, very pretty. Everything is beautiful. I would highly recommend all these products even though it's just a first impressions. I'm gonna continue to use them and I'll let you know if anything changes, but honestly, look at this face. Glowy, natural, perfect, flawless. What else can you ask for? Okay, I'm not talking about the way I look, I'm talking about the way the products look, by the way. But anyway, I think that's gonna be everything for today. It was a long one. I'm gonna be filming the look with the two Pillow Talk palettes, this one and the original coming soon. And we're gonna be trying the face palette also in an upcoming video. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.